Thank you for joining us for Women in Construction 2024 as we feature Emily Morgan, CEO for Ashby Lumber. Congratulations, Emily, on being recognized as a handle woman in construction. Thank you. Very honored to be here. Absolutely. So what drew you to the construction industry? So I'm actually in a family business. I was born into it, but um, I just learned when I was in my 20s getting into the business that it's a great business full of really wonderful people and love the industry. And so I'm just really happy to be a part of it and continue to support its growth. How long have you been with Ashby Lumber? Almost 20 years now. Wow. So what did it take for you to get to the CEO role? I have held almost every job inside of our company, um, but I came in through marketing, IT, I've done sales management, and, you know, really had the fortunate, um, the good fortune to come and have, be able to do all of the different jobs so that I really understand the entire business. Um, it makes it so much easier from my perspective now that I can say, okay, well, when I used to do that job, you know, and I really kind of understand what all of the employees are doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So I think that firsthand knowledge makes a big difference. Yes. It's very, I feel very fortunate to have had the time to be able to do that. Awesome. So is there anything in your career that you're most proud of that you've achieved? Um, I think just taking over the company as a woman, um, you know, I'm very fortunate that my mother was also in the industry, but for me, it was just a big accomplishment to be recognized um, as someone, you know, who could really run this business and take it to the next level. So I feel very honored, fortunate to be in the role that I'm in. What do you think would be some steps, say, another woman looking to get to the level that you are? Yeah, that's a great question. I think absolutely just continuing to learn, take on as much responsibility as you can, um, you know, grab any project that someone will throw your way and keep an open mind about, um, you know, every path looks a little bit different. But if you just keep growing and keep interested in learning, I think that there's always a path forward. On that side of it, do you think that there's any disadvantage to being a woman in construction? Um, I think that it is a challenge, certainly just being the only woman in the room a lot of the time. It's something certainly that I think we've unfortunately gotten used to, but it would be nice if there were more of us in the room. You know, I sit on the board of the Lumber Association. I'm the only woman. I sit on the board <laughs> committee for one of our co-ops. I'm the only woman. So, you know, it, it's, <laughs> I'm always happy to be there. And truthfully, part of why I say yes is because I want more representation, but I would love to see more women in those rooms. So if you were looking at bringing another woman into, say, your company, what would be an interesting interview question that you would ask them? That is a very great question. <laughs> um, I think for me, I've seen a lot of success in our organization, especially at, at the leadership level with, with people who really want to empower other people. And so to me, it's it's really about bringing other people up with you versus kind of wanting to do the whole job and do everything yourself and take it all on by yourself. And so I would, you know, we really look for in all of our leadership, but especially in women, people that aren't threatened by, you know, other successful people, we all really need to collaborate and work as a team. And so I see that as kind of one of the biggest leadership qualities that's important inside of our company. And I think it can be a challenge as we sometimes feel defensive, um, and want to protect our roles and protect, you know, the accomplishments that we've, like, the things that we've gone through that um, it can be a challenge. And so I think staying open and, you know, having confidence in the things that we've accomplished is really important. Absolutely. Do you think that the industry is getting better for women? I do. I absolutely do. I see a lot more, you know, we see a lot more women applying to roles inside of our organization. We certainly have a higher percentage of women than we used to. I think in terms of construction companies, 
it still is a challenge. It still is a challenge. A lot, you know, for us, we're we're certainly growing um, into like a more diverse culture. But I think that in the construction industry itself, I'm not sure we don't see a lot of uh, women contractors coming into the stores. So uh, we see a lot of women involved in the businesses, but maybe not actually running them or, um, you know, out in the field. We're so excited to see what you've accomplished in your career. And we are very excited to recognize you as a Handle 2024 Woman in Construction. Well, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure.